Hello everyone, short video today in which I wanted to share a very simple tip uh, very simple, it's borderline laughable so I recently made uh, this uh, very short blender film um, and I had this scene where there is this uh, very uh, antique buildings with um, some sort of portal to space, right? and uh, here I used uh, an image plane so you can add this by you probably know by using the add-on uh, images as planes so you go to uh, add-ons and then you search images uh, import export import images as planes and when you add an image uh, using this add-on the setup is usually the note the shader setup is usually something like this so you have the color plugged into the base color and then the alpha is plugged into the alpha channel uh, but if you don't have an alpha channel in your image, for instance, you just use an image from Pexels or Unsplash, you can remove this. It's not going to change anything. Uh, so, but the problem here, if you notice, so I'm using, yeah, for the light, and I'm using a simple HDRI. But if you notice, there is the uh, shadows from the pil little pillar here, here that's casting the shadows on the image. And uh, I don't want that because this is a portal, so there shouldn't be shadows on the on the on the image right so i was looking on how to remove i don't know there might be a simple method but i i didn't I, yeah i didn't i kept looking but i didn't find anything i was playing with the different um, material properties and the principled bsdf i was also uh, i went to um, yeah where is it yeah it's here invisibility in object properties visibility there is this uh, ray visibility thingy where you can untick shadows but this is actually about your object casting shadows. It's not about your object receiving shadows. So let's say uh, I move this up and then I move it. So you can see there is shadow here. If I untick this, it's, there will no longer be shadows, but this is not what I'm looking for, right? So the very simple method I found is to just plug the color directly into the material output. Now you see there is no shadow. It's simply that. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's really... Uh, it made me laugh how simple it is. I was looking for a complicated solution, but yeah, this works. Um, I ended up also using a... Uh, okay, so let me show you. This is... Yeah, this is the one we just worked on. I used this one, where I also used uh, some emission. So I wanted to have... Uh, as you can see, the stars are... There is an emission uh, in the stars. I, uh, I did this by using uh, a color ramp. As we can see, I, I separated the colorful, I don't know what it's called, neb nebula, I guess, from the stars by playing with, the, by tweaking the sliders, right? And then I, I used a mi mix shader between the regular image as well as uh, the, the output of the color ramp. And then, uh, sorry, uh, I used the output of the color ramp as a factor that controls uh, the mix shader between the the emission and the normal color so this way i can control the strength of the star of the yeah the strength of the emission in the stars and i, I obviously keyframed the strength so that when there is a rotation movement there is also uh, the the emission is changing at the same time but uh, yeah that's it very short video i just wanted to share that it's yeah <laughs> thank you have a great day